Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So I'm actually making this video because, you know, I was uh, thinking about what we can possibly do to make the Gundam Age anniversary that much more impactful. So it's 10 years, you know, come next month, we're going to have this beautiful 10 year anniversary. So much has already been going on. Just throughout the entire year, we've had reprints of almost the entirety of the Gundam Age High Grade and the Master Grade line. And to me, that's actually really no notable because most of those kits have not been reissued in many years. Many, many, many years. So it's good that some people were able to get their hands on a few of these kits. Then there's the Gundam base in Fukuoka as well as in Tokyo that's basically doing a Gundam Age competition in Japan. And what you can do is just submit a Gundam Age kit as your you know, entry. And I don't know what the grand prizes are or if there really are any prizes. I don't think it was really mentioned on the website. But it's actually pretty cool that they're doing a in-house tournament or I guess you know competition, whatever you want to call it, of Gundam Age. And it's just basically a little fun thing to do. Uh, it's just, man, unfortunate that Fukuoka and Tokyo are in a state of emergency because I would have loved to go early on, just kind of scope out what's going on, look at the fellow entries, but, you know, it's going to have to wait until I actually do submit my entry, which is going to be pretty damn cool once you see it. Now, back in 2012, I went to the Gundam Expo over in Akihabara, and they had a lot of different kits on display. Notably, they had a lot of Gundam Age stuff, which was, you know, past kits, as well as just some little nice little customs that they had. But one thing that stood out to me is that they had the Gundam Age Master Grade line for the Age 3 and the Age FX. Now, there was also mention of the Master Grade Gofran that was supposedly in works, but we really didn't see any prototypes or anything. However, we did see prototypes of the H3 as well as the HFX, and to be honest, they looked like they were pretty much good to go. And we all thought that possibly in 2013, we would see these kits get released. But year after year after year after year, we didn't get any news. We didn't get any updates, and they just kind of fell by the wayside, which is more than likely due to age having lackluster ratings. That's the only thing I can really think of, because I'm pretty sure that the, the toy sales were pretty good. Uh, most articles I've read about Gundam Age during that time seem to be that the Gundam Age merch actually sold. And I don't know if it's because the stock just kind of like never got replenished, but for a good long time, you couldn't find anything Gundam Age on the shelf. Those kits were basically gone. And you know, for a good long time, you were just like stuck not having a Gundam Age kit, or you're paying out of pocket a lot of money for a, just a simple high grade like the Farzia or even the Dorado. But nonetheless, I was mesmerized when I first seen those two prototype master grades just face on, in person. I was captivated and I was so excited because I had basically every single age kit minus the advanced grades at that time. But once again, man, it was just unfortunate we never got to see them. Now, we've seen kits come back from a prototype status. I believe the F90 is one of those kits that was in a prototype status for a good long time that had a prototype master grade, and then it actually got released, and it was retooled for the more modern kind of scope of master grades, and it looked fantastic, and it's a fantastic kit. So I'm thinking maybe Bandai still has these prototypes and maybe they could improve on them or they can release them as is, whether as a full release or as P Bandai. Either way, I think most fans would agree that if they got these kits in hand, they will not be disappointed. The only thing that could possibly get some re rework is going to be the shoulders because the shoulders for the H2 is a little bit uh, disappointing. Just it droops so much and especially on the H3 and HFX with all the weight on the shoulders, those little shoulder polycap joints will not hold up. But they do have the new shoulder joints from the Divers H2 Magnum, and that can definitely work to help support the weight of those shoulders. So what's this video for? Well, I basically wanted to let y'all guys know that there were Master Grade Age 3 and Age FX kits 
that were shown in 2012 and basically never got released. So what I'm thinking is how about a hashtag that goes on Twitter, goes on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you can post and just talk about these two kits. And I think using this hashtag will allow us to basically relay that message a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna call it is hashtag free master grade age three FX. So it's a jumble of words and letters, but I think it gives the message across without it being way too long and a little bit too on the nose. So I'd rather just condense it a little bit and you know, basically attach that to anything that you have that you want to express that you want to see these kits get released in some way, shape, or form. I don't even care if it's just, you know, P Bandai and maybe even low stock. I'll take anything I can get, and I know a lot of other people share the same sentiment that they want to see these kits and they want to get these kits on their shelves, they want to customize it, and they just want to tell Bandai that, hey, look, just because the ratings might have been low in the past for Gundam Mage, we actually appreciate it now. I think there's a pretty good cult following for Gundam Mage. A lot of people do enjoy it nowadays, and they kind of just maybe was a little bit too harsh when it first came out, but because it was a little childish at first and surface level. But I think when people kind of realize that, hey, you know, all Gundam should be kind of maybe treated fairly equally. Then they rewatched it and realized there's a little bit more depth to the series. There's a little bit more of a darker tone and even a little bit more heart to the series. Something I would love to get into, maybe in a full deep dive of Gundam Age. As of right now, I'm not really feeling that. I'm trying to do a lot of different kits, building and painting, and I'm feeling more motivated to do that. But I definitely want to get the message out that Gundam Age deserves more. And I think what the more is are these two Master Grades. So if you guys could help me out, whether you're sharing this video, whether you're going on Twitter, you're just going on any social media you can, talk to your friends, whoever, make a video. But definitely share the message that we want to see these two kids get released. But hopefully Bandai listens, not too sure, but hey, it's worth a try. So thank, thank all of you for watching this video and hopefully all of you can support me in all this. But thanks once again and I'll be seeing y'all next time. Bye-bye.